Ill blows the wind that profits nobody. This man whom hand to hand I slew in fight may be possessed with some store of crowns. And I that happily take them from him now may yet ere night yield both my life and them to some man else. This dead man doth me. Who's this? Oh, God. It is my father's face. Oh, heavy times begetting such events. From London by the king was I pressed forth. My father, being the Earl of Warwick's man, came on the part of York, pressed by his master. And I, who at his hands received my life, have by my hands of life bereaved him. Pardon me, God, I knew not what I did. Pardon, Father, for I knew not thee. A piteous spectacle. Oh, bloody times. When lions war and battle for their dens. Poor harmless lambs abide their enmity. Weep, wretched man. I'll aid thee tear for tear. And let our hearts and eyes, like civil war, be blind with tears, and break or charged with grief. Well, that's all stuff that has resisted me. Give me thy gold, if thou hast any gold, for I have won it with a hundred blows. But let me see, is this our foeman's face? Stratagems, how foul, how butcherly, erroneous, mutinous, and unnatural. This deadly quarrel daily doth beget. Pity, pity, gentle heaven, pity. The red rose and the white are on his face. With the one rose and at the other flourish. If you contend, a thousand lives must wither. I will my mother for a father's death take on with me and ne'er be satisfied. I will my wife for slaughter of my son shed seas of tears and ne'er be satisfied. I will the country for these woeful chances misthink the king and not be satisfied. Was ever son so rude a father's death? Was ever father so bemoaned his son? Was ever king so grieved for subjects woe? Much is your sorrow. Mine, ten times so much. I'll bear thee hence where I may weep my fill. For I have murdered where I should not kill. These arms of mine shall be thy winding sheet. My heart, sweet boy, shall be thy sepulchre. Now bear thee hence, and let them fight that will, for I have murdered where I should not kill. Sad-hearted man, much overgone with care, here sits a king more woeful than you are. Oh, 
Like a brace of greyhounds having the fearful flying hare in sight, or at our backs, and therefore hence the maze. A way for vengeance comes along with them. Come thou with me, lest they seize on your person. Let me die and let them fight with will. <laughs> for I have murdered where I should not kill. Here burns my candle out. I hear it dies, which whilst it lasted gave King Henry light. O oh, Lancaster, I fear thy overthrow more than my body's parting with my soul. The foe is merciless and will not pity, for at their hand I have deserved no pity. Brothers, fortune bids us pause. Some troops pursue the bloody minded queen. And thou, good Norfolk, take our swiftest horse and seek the king. Trust me, I'll find him out. What think you, George? Did Clifford fly with him? No, it is impossible he should escape. Your brother Richard marked him for the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Whose soul is that which takes its heavy leave? I see who it is. Now the battle is ended, a friend or foe, let him be gentle. You. Doom of mercy! What is Clifford? <laughs> From off the gates of York, fetch down the head. Your father's head, which Clifford placed there. Instead whereof, let this supply the room. <laughs> measure for measure must be answered. since we have lopped off Lancaster's chief arm. <laughs> Richard, I will create the Duke of Gloucester and George of Clarence. Warwick as ourselves shall do and undo as him pleases best. Let me be Duke of Clarence, George of Gloucester. Hmm? The Gloucester's dukedom is too ominous. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a foolish observation. Richard be Duke of Gloucester. Now, to London to see these honors in possession. From whence shall Warwick cut the sea to France and ask the Lady Boner for thy queen? Boner? I'd leave her marry Margaret. <laughs> I'll wait no woman that doth please me not. Boner of France shall please thy kingdom, Lord. So shalt thou sinew both these lands together and shall confirm that peace my arms have wrought you. Then as thou wilt, Lord Warwick, let it be. For never will I undertake the thing wherein thy counsel and consent is wanting. Then set on, for if we slack this fair, bright summer's day, sharp winter showers will mar our hope for hay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by my faith, our sun shines threefold bright, and Tartan's battle, won by famous York, shall be eternized in all age to come. <laughs> and trumpets and to London all and more such days as these to us before. <laughs> <laughs> 